Oh my god, my face literally hates me. I look so bad right now. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I'm gonna put some primer on. I'm um, using my good old NYX Angel Veil primer. I never really noticed primer's doing much for me, but uh, yesterday I wore the, this primer after a really long time and it looked really good. I was really surprised. Okay, so I wanna give this um, Kat Von D foundation one last chance. So I'm gonna try using a brush rather than a beauty blender. And if this doesn't look good, like I'm just gonna give it to someone. Like I really don't like it. I don't know why. I don't know why everybody loves it. Like what am I doing wrong? Oh my god, I haven't used a brush for a foundation in so long. Oh, ew, ew, ew. No, 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 no. Okay, this looks even worse. No, let's not. Let's not. Back back to my beauty blender. Oh my god, that looks awful. <sighs> you guys, why do all foundations hate me? Why does my face hate me? Anyways, yeah. So, what I want to talk about today. I mean, I know right now you must be thinking that it doesn't match me. Which, it doesn't. It's like a little bit lighter. But, I prefer that. Like, if it was up to me, I would want, like, just white skin. But... That ain't happening. So what I want to talk about is uh, kind of like mental health issues. And like I don't really want to talk about myself because I feel like, I don't know. Like part of kind of having like depression, anxiety and stuff. Like for me, m big part of it is just like hiding it and like pretending that everything is okay. Everything is fine. And I feel like just like massive part of my personality is just ingrained in like being really miserable but pretending to be okay and it somehow works for me you know like people think it's terrible but look it's all right like i don't think i'd be this funny if i wasn't this miserable you know when like chandler um got his third nipple removed and then he lost his sense of humor i feel like for me mental health issues are kind of my third nipple this foundation looks so bad it like literally clings on to any texture and like skin imperfections. Is this a dud or like why am I the only one who hates this foundation? So I don't want to talk about me but what I want to talk about is people that think just because something doesn't happen to them or something doesn't apply to them means that it doesn't exist. <laughs> like for example a lot of people in my family and you know where I grew up believe that just because they don't have mental health issues that means that everyone else is making it up. And the same is like, you know, because you work with a lot of different people and, you know, a lot of them are going to have different kinds of opinions and you kind of just have to respect it because you're going to work with them so you can't really tell them that they're, you know, fucking stupid. Um, but I've heard a lot of people say that um, they have a reason to be depressed so, you know, that makes their depression valid whilst other people don't have a reason to be depressed so they shouldn't be and it doesn't exist. Hmm. My makeup's gonna look shit today. I can, I can, I can tell. And it drives me crazy because I feel like the people with the no reason to be depressed uh, are the most depressed ones. Because when you're sad, which I feel like a lot of people that feel depressed, they're just sad or upset about certain things. But when you're upset or sad about something that happened to you, at least you know what it is. So you're like, oh, like I don't know my insurance I don't know some insert adult problem but imagine being depressed without knowing why like just feeling depressed without any reason so I bought this blush and I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow today because I think it's a pretty pink color scrap this I'm taking this Morphe brush and go into my favorite um, sleek palette I'm gonna take the orange and I'm gonna put that in my crease but anyways yeah um so imagine feeling depressed and having technically no reason to it then you're depressed about being depressed because you don't know why and nobody is listening to you and they just say that like this terrible thing that's happening in your life is not happening to discredit you and it's terrible I don't know if I'm making any sense um because I feel like I really never talk about this with anyone because it's kind of like a sad thing to talk about like you know people want to talk about like happy things but I really wanted to talk about this because I feel like some people take their mental health for granted my mom is messaging me speaking of my mom and now I don't want to say anything bad about her because it wasn't her fault she was raised in an environment that was the exact same but for example when I started having um, mental health issues when I was a kid um, basically she just told me that girls don't cry and that I don't have a reason to be depressed 
that there's kids in Africa dying, there's people having their legs chopped off. And it just made me feel so bad about myself. It just made me feel like, okay, so I'm this white little privileged kid who's got roof over their head, it's got family, goes to school, and I am depressed and I have no reason to be. And it made me feel so bad and it just made everything worse. And even nowadays, we still argue about it because uh, she makes fun of people with mental health issues. Like, I think um, she like met a woman who had OCD and she basically was just calling her insane and crazy. And that is not something I do. Like, I take things like that very seriously. You know, like, people can't help it. And it's really hard to deal with any kind of, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder or, you know, things that are always, like, happening in your brain you can't help it and it's just like makes me really upset to see that there are people in the world and especially my family that just make fun of those things or judge them and I'm going into the Makeup Geeks eyeshadow in Bitten which is like a deeper burgundy colour and I'm just putting that in the crease um, but if you maybe are watching this whoever you are one of the like 10 viewers <laughs> and you do have any kind of like mental health issue or like maybe like any kind of like uh, disorder, I would really, I'm like really curious to hear about like how people react to it. Because for me, I work really hard on hiding any kind of issues I have. So I feel like I don't have to deal with people openly about it. Like, like for example, like I just argue with my mom or something, but pretty much given up because <sighs> she don't care, she don't care. I'm gonna go into the Smashbox palette that I pretty much only use for like the two shades here. <laughs> also, I heard somewhere that apparently Smashbox is like cruelty free or something. Is that true? I thought they weren't. If anybody knows, let me know. But as far as I know, they're not. Like I've had this palette for like three years, so don't judge me, please. I still like this one shadow, so I'm gonna carry on using it. And I'm just gonna put that in the middle. So I just don't like it when people freaking don't know what they're talking about it and they're gonna preach about it especially the other day uh, I was in a room with a person who suffers with like really severe depression and then there's other person who was just you know under all the stress because of things happening in their life and the second person was saying about how you know people who don't have a reason to be depressed shouldn't be depressed and I was just trying to be quiet um, because again, it was an environment where I don't want to offend anyone because I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time with them. But it made me so upset because I could see that the other person was getting a little bit upset but they didn't want to say anything either. And I just wish people would educate themselves even on subjects that don't necessarily affect them. I feel like we should be better humans to each other and other beings. Animals, go vegan. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if my camera just cut out but I'm using a liquid lipstick to do my liner. I'm gonna link it down below and don't judge. I got it off Amazon. It works really well, okay, so. So yeah, I feel like you can't, like oftentimes if you do try to speak up about it or say anything, people will be like, oh, but you always seem so cheery. Like you can't be depressed. And you're just like. I feel like I wasn't making much sense today. It was like very jumpy, to be fair. It wasn't very planned. But maybe if I recap, it's gonna make sense. So what I was basically trying to say is that just because you don't experience something, it doesn't mean that others don't and you should really try to put yourself in the shoes of others before you judge them for anything. And especially when it comes to your like mental health issues or like how people deal with them. Uh, you can't just assume that because for example, you don't feel depressed Others shouldn't either um, if they don't, you know, have reason. Because sometimes that's the worst when you don't have a reason and you don't know why you feel that way. Did this just get really dark? Well, this is what happens when I start going back on Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, I just wish people kind of were more understanding. Because I feel someone's got like a broken leg. You're not gonna be like, you don't have a reason to have a broken leg. You know, there are people who climb mountains and they don't have a broken leg. Yeah, like basically, I'm sorry if this was like a very uneventful video, but 
I don't know, maybe I need to like gather my thoughts before I talk about this in public. Uh, but if you do have any kind of experiences, you just want to rant about a family member or something, hit me up. Because I know that, for example, when I was younger, I was, was told that, you know, if you are sad or depressed, then you're weak. And that, um, you know, you have to pretend to be happy to be a strong person and, oh, just all this bullshit that, like, ruins kids' lives. I just don't want anyone else to feel like that. It's just, I'm just getting really upset now. We really don't feel like liquid tomato lipstick today because our lips are so chapped. So we're gonna go with a gold. Alrighty. I think that's a pretty nice natural look. Alright, well, I don't know if I'm gonna upload this video. I feel like it's a bit chaotic, but if I do, then thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you need to let me know anything. <laughs>